So one of the great things about CinePunch for DaVinci is that we have the whole CinePack segment. And these are going to contain thousands of different elements, 4K, 6K, 8K versions. Okay, and these are kind of different elements that you can overlay onto your footage or titles to give you a specific look. Now, when you open up the CinePunch for DaVinci project file, you are going to have all the elements contained inside. And I label these as reference files. Now, these are 8K reference files, but they're a lower compression. So although they're usable on your footage, I do recommend that you access the CinePax extension PDF. And inside there, you are going to have access to the online magazine Whereas you can play and download single elements at a variety of resolutions. Or if you go up top to each page, you are going to see a link for where you can download an ultra high bitrate version. And I do recommend these versions because these are going to be broadcast quality, 4K streaming quality, as well as cinema quality. So in this case, I've downloaded the ultra bitrate versions of a couple packs. We have the Cine Dust and some flares. So I'm going to go back and just create a bin. I'm going to call this Cinepax UHD. And now I'm going to go into my Cinepunch folder and I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this Cinepax UHD. And this is just to place all my ultra high bitrate versions into this folder and just remain organized so that I know where all my packs and elements are. I want to contain everything into one folder. And now once we've done that, I'm going to drag and drop the new download folders into my project. And I'm just going to go into Cine Dust and you can see that you have all different subcategories here. Now with these elements, you can certainly add some curve adjustments and some level adjustments. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to grab some organic flow. So if I drag and drop this on top of my shot, and then now if I go into my inspector, I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. And now if I go down into my composite mode, in this case, I'm just going to use the add blending mode, and you can already see the dust particles are starting to come through. We can adjust the opacity a little bit here just to bring that down a little bit. Now I'm going to continue and go into one of my spherical flares. So we have some nice lens light textures. And I'm going to drag and drop and place that on top of my footage, on top of my cine dust element. Now in some cases you may have just this audio connection. If I right click on the element and disconnect by hitting this linked clips, I can then just highlight this audio track and delete it. Now the same method, I'm going to highlight my flare. I'm going to go into my inspector and just zoom this out a, a little bit. And once again, go down into my composite mode and change this to add. And then I'm just going to bring the opacity down a little bit, roll this in. So now we have our flare, our dust on top of our footage. And if I just turn these on and off, you know, we can start to get a little bit of different design to this shot. Now moving up, we can also look into our Filmmaker VFX overlays or our new Film Punch overlays pack. So I'm going to check out the new Film Punch overlays pack, go into my elements category. And we have a whole bunch of different film looks here. Uh, but I'm just going to grab some dirty grains. So the same process, overlay my film element. I'm going to go into my inspector. And I'm just going to go into my composite mode. And again, I'm just going to bring that opacity down a little bit. So now I have the film grain, the flare, the dust overlaid on my shot. So in the case where you may need to duplicate your element, I'm going to highlight the grain. And if I hold down the alt key and just slide with my mouse, it's going to duplicate that. And I can just keep sliding this over and over 
and extend out this grain as long as I need. So this is really the fastest and I would suggest the most preferred way to do this method if you have to duplicate your element. Just hold the Alt key and slide your shot over. And that's it. Stacking your elements, changing the blending modes to enhance the look and feel of your shot. Thank you.